Hey guys, I thought I'd do another uh, update on the L LED Q project. As you can see, I got a couple uh, a test circuit here working. This is basically um, emulating only a small portion. There's going to be 512 LEDs. As you can see, there's only 16 LEDs here. So this is basically the 8 from the lowest row, the Z equals 0, the lowest layer. And then this is the, the next eight above it uh, on the layer one. And basically those two layers are driven by these two MOSFETs. And then the, each of the LED uh, pillars are being driven by these little tiny resistors, um, not tiny transistors, just a 2N2222, uh, just a generic transistor. I had to do that because I'm powering this off 9 volts right now and without that the uh, shift register just couldn't bring that to the ground uh, without getting it hot so um, so basically this is only one of the eight shift registers right here there will be eight of these there will be 64 of these transistors each with two tra two resistors each one going to the base of the uh, I'll talk about that when we go into the circuit let's see what else is there that's probably just to show that it actually does work. So let's look at the, the circuit here. So as I said, uh, there will be 64 of these transistors and they are driven through this 1K resistor of the shift register. So there is 8 per shift register and there will be 8 shift registers so that's 64 um, rows and columns that is on the uh, on the each layer. And so that drives the 64 these are the 64 LEDs on the lowest row being driven by a common anode using this uh, MOSFET and this MOSFET is being driven by this transistor um, that I had to put in here because otherwise it's not uh, enough uh, voltage to bring it to the 9 volt that I put in here it works fine with 5 volt but not with 9 volts so this is a pull up going to 9 volt and this brings it down when the Arduino tells it to so this will control the row I'm sorry, this will control the layer and uh, all the 64 will be for that layer and then there will be another set of this per layer and these guys are of course common so every layer will share the same 64 they all have their own um, power on the plus side for the LEDs so components are starting to come in these are the shift registers these are uh, sockets that I got. I just want to make sure that if I ever have to replace the shift register, I'm not going to resolder anything. So sockets, plenty of uh, resistors, and actually I end up having to buy more because these are now the wrong ones. This is, uh, th that's okay, I'll use them. And these are some other circuits that I've uh, tested before, just doing experiment. But I think one of the coolest thing is this guy right here. This is even right too cool, too, uh, too big to go fit into the picture. But uh, yeah, this will be 11 inches by 11 inches or so. And this will be where the LED pillars using these wires here, right here. I got these wires specifically thanks to Brian M for referring me to this wire because the other, the other places uh, are really expensive. At Jameco, they're only like $10 for the whole thing. So this will be the base, upside down of course. I'll probably paint this black and then all those wires will come out of there and the LEDs will be soldered to those wires. I also already started making the uh, the template. This is, yeah, it's too big to even go into the view. So this is uh, again 11 inches by 11 inches. So it's coming right along and hopefully Let's see, I'm still waiting for more transistors, waiting for more resistors, but I think I could start soldering these. Um, my friend Tony is going to help me with uh, some of the base stuff here because this is kind of flimsy. So we're going to make it such that it has a, a solid base, kind of like a frame that is uh, going to be the base of the, uh, of the LED cube. And so there'll be like, a, I don't know, maybe an inch, two inches thick here. So that's about it guys, coming right along. Hopefully next time around we'll actually have something that maybe the first layer or something. Thanks for watching, bye bye.